Hey Microsoft Vancouver, it's Chris Richards here in the garage. Man, March already? February was a roller coaster. Science Fair capped it off at the end of February. This video, we're gonna look at three really cool projects that people presented. Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm with the Engineering, Learning and Insights team and I'm here to tell you a bit more about what we did for the Science Fair. So I didn't actually know what a Science Fair was when the email came in. I saw Cody's email and I thought about the idea of talking to lots and lots of people all afternoon, one after another. And then the introvert in me was terrified, so I had to sign up because I like to live through my horror movies, not just watch them. I wanted to talk to people and just generate some ideas and curiosity, get people asking about like, what is learning? Why don't you call it training? And I have a lot of thoughts to share on that. But my initial goal was an interactive data display that would evolve as people came and went. Uh, I ended up with this because people told me I, my initial idea was a little too crazy, but this didn't work out so badly, so it was, people talking about what they're learning about and how they're learning and everyone who came by if the thing you're learning about was already on the board then you just color in a square so it's like a radial chart but if it wasn't then you could add it so we got a pretty diverse set of topics and was this the most scientific scalable way to gather data probably not but was it fun and exciting and did it get people talking yes it did so i'm gonna call it a success but uh, we'll see so this is my team mission this is why we exist Basically, we want everyone at Microsoft to feel like a kid in a cape. And that's my spiel. Thanks for listening. Learning is awesome. If you learn something today, go teach it to someone else because that's the best way to learn. Hey guys, welcome to our project, Drone AI. I'm Ritesh Mittal and I will be going through the specifics of this project, which we did in Hackathon 2019. So here we go. We have drones which are ranging from $100 to upwards of $1,000. Features inside the drone varies based on the price of the drone. For example, a $1,000 drone, elliptical mode, a selfie mode, etc. While a $100 drone might miss that. What we are trying to create here is a platform to plug and play any of the drone, whatever the price, and a seamless experience across all the drones. They will be sharing all the modes between the drones. So one of the modes which we try to do, a professional photography mode, wherein a particular user will be able to input a location to our phone app, and then the, we basically give that phone app the location of the coordinates to Microsoft AI and Microsoft AI should be able to generate a dynamic flight plan, the different angles where the drone would be taking the photos, the different directions where the drone would be moving, as well as the time range where the drone would be taking the video. So one of the scenarios was a defibrillator wherein the drone should be able to find a defibrillator when a person is in need. In our flight plan which we have configured inside the platform, the drone would be rotating at an angle of 90 degrees where it will be pointing to the AED image. The drone is able to kind of take off and capture an image of the wall. Our framework sends that image to Microsoft AI and we use Azure to basically find the word AED or defibrillator. Once the drone points here, it will basically capture the image, send it to AI, and once AI says that, yeah, it found defibrillator, it'll flip just for the demo. Thank you so much for tuning in to our video. Uh, please send your feedback on aka.ms slash ms drone AI. We are looking forward to your feedback. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Hi, my name is Seda. Hi, my name is Kevin. Hi, my name is Andrea. Hi, my name is Andy. And, and we're, we're Team, team Microbits. Micro so our project is all about making it available and free for everyone to code on these devices without the actual device. So what we did was we made a VS Code extension that essentially helps you program microcontrollers. So there was a pre-existing project by previous interns that simulated this one, which is called the CPX. Um, however, we wanted to add functionality for the micro bit, which is this one. And the really cool thing about the micro bit is that it was given to a million students in the UK in order to help them learn how to code. So we want to make this kind of um, technology more accessible to even people who didn't receive it or people who can't afford it, for example. So what's cool about this little guy, it has a few sensors such as temperature and light. And in our extension, we actually have the ability to simulate motion uh, light and temperature and you can just adjust those in our little extension to whatever you see fit. So yeah, as a team we've been working on this for around eight weeks now. We use a lot of like data-driven uh, decision making uh, to see what uh, is useful for our users and what's not really working with them. When we're kind of planning out what the next steps are, we use like again the feedback we got from our UI testing and just a little bit of creativity from our side, right, to make sure that the product we have out there is, is looking nice and it's, it's, it's useful for our users. I think our far-fetched goal is to have this product in the hands of makers and students and we want to make sure that 
we're giving the best foot forward for it. I really like kind of the team dynamic that we have and overall Garage is a lot more entrepreneurial so we really can fail fast without too many restrictions so yeah. I feel like this internship is a great way to learn and kind of learn how a startup or a big company would function. <laughs> <laughs> we, should, we should totally do like a, like a, do you know how K-pop groups have like, I don't know. Oh, like, no, we have to practice, otherwise it's so bad. Let's no, go. I don't think I feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are giving me like the outro bit right now. Oh, 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 I see. Here's another video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't mind.